The department has released more results of a contact tracing effort, including the percentage of cases being reached through their investigations. Sarah Madison reports. We're told one of the goals of the case investigation metrics is to help provide feedback for health department officials on how they're doing with contact tracing. Investigation and contact tracing are key components to help stop the spread of the virus. In the new chart, the light blue bars are number of cases reported, and the orange line shows what percent of those cases were reached in that week. We're told staffing has gone up and case counts came down since August, and officials saw an increase in percent of cases reached through October. But not everyone was reached, and the next graph explains why. Nearly 580 cases were not reached in October. About 80% were because there was no phone number and people didn't call back or answer. Dr. Kemble says one solution is working with the labs to get more complete contact information. Another big piece of this, um, this barrier section, though, is that there may be some fatigue on the part of cases that people... Uh, may not be interested in isolation and quarantine and may not really want to talk to the department about that. Dr. Kemble believes there are about 450 contact tracing staff statewide and says based on the current case counts, they have excess capacity for contact tracing. We do anticipate scaling down staff, and that's not strictly a, an issue of um, loss of resources. It's actually an assessment based on these um, performance measures of what we actually need. Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.